sit right in the middle. We're gonna be on right uh, each other. Yeah, look, see, we're fine. I don't know if they even hear us. Oh, let's do a sound check. Okay, so right, something. Guys. So okay, we're, we're guys. Sound check. Sound check. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, that's check check one two. That's good. <laughs> Welcome to the Deacon Austin podcast. We have about 150 people around us, and they are all going to be here live. They're really excited about this. Shut up. What are you doing? I'm ordering a pizza for Cheyenne. You're ordering a pizza? So, Not for me. For, oh, yeah, I was going to say. Days. We're going to be here a while. Open us up. Fifth daily vlog. <coughs> Alright guys, it's the fifth daily vlog. <laughs> fifth daily. Okay, and today <laughs> it is wrong. the third, right, third episode of Barbell Discussions. Why is your face so red? <laughs> What? It looks like literally Dude. so red. I don't know, I got a head rush. Are you good? I don't know, I'm okay. busy too. This is the third episode. If Austin passes out in the middle of barbell discussions, that's totally fine. Um, <laughs> no, that's not Dude. totally fine. No, I'm weird. But yeah, today we wanted to talk to you guys about um, a few things. But first, we're going to start off what um, and talk about what how we've changed. Oh my God, why can't I talk? How we changed our training style from like super heavy all the time to moderate weight and volume. Uh, for example, bench. Bench. Go yeah. 135, 225, 275 in the past, right? Yeah. All right. Now we're Big gonna go. Jumps. We go 135, 185. We, we after like, like three sets of like 20 reps on 135. Yeah. And then we go 185 for like five sets of 10. Yeah, we, we do that a lot. Five sets of 10 on 185 for us is like really, that gets a good blood flow, good pump. I've seen chest gains from it. Austin's even got stronger, I yeah. feel like. We usually don't go up past that either. No. Well, we, we might usually. go to 225, but we don't we don't go crazy on it like we used to. Yeah. We kind of got rid of ego lifting, basically. I would definitely say we got rid of ego lifting on purpose. What do you think, how do you think that the, they could take what information we're giving them and apply it? Like for example, if you guys are lifting super heavy, like really frequently, don't. Yeah. Just don't. Don't, don't hurt yourself. Yeah. Because we've both dealt with injuries that we've had to overcome and nurture and take care of. And the way we did that without sacrificing intensity in our workouts is literally just change our rep ranges and weights. Oh yeah. Because instead of trying to impress ourselves or impress each other, because who cares about how much weight you can lift, we started yeah. lifting smart. So we're yeah. actually trying to build, trying to grow instead of hurt ourselves. Exactly. Yeah. And that's what it's that's what it should have been about from the beginning. And I feel like we would have been even further along if we've done that sooner. But everybody's gotta learn their lesson. And that's why we're making this video so that if you're doing that and you're ego lifting, not seeing the results you want, it's probably because you're trying to impress yourself or somebody else and not actually trying to lift smart. I think something's funny over there. But anyway, so with the higher rep range also, like, you know, obviously I've been trying to cut for like years, it never happens, but yeah. we're not talking about that. With this higher rep range, I have been seeing more definition, even though I haven't started cutting. I've been seeing a little more definition, like arms and stuff, like the tricep come out a little more. Yeah, yeah, for real. So, and I like that. That's, that's because, um, and you sweat more, you genuinely just work harder. If you push your, if you, like, what I was telling Austin the other day, the difference between bodybuilding and powerlifting, and this is not my quote, I can't remember where I heard this, but bodybuilding is making a lightweight feel heavy, and powerlifting is making a heavyweight feel light. And when you know which one of those you want to do, it's really easy. So that's why we switched to doing like 185 for a bunch of reps. It's because it's not that heavy, but we make it feel really dang heavy by the time we're done with it. Right? All right. Another thing recently that we've realized is this overdosing on pre-workout, how dumb it is. So <laughs> we've been just going with a regular dosage, maybe a little bit over sometimes Usually. since we got our tolerance up. So, yeah. We got our tolerance up way too high from all that stupid yeah, stuff. Yeah, we don't we don't really do crazy stuff. like. I'll, I'll get a pre-workout that I like, like 121, and do like a scoop, maybe like a scoop and a half like I did today. About? Yeah. yeah. So full scoop of yours, full scoop of mine, and we then used to just go random. crazy. Yeah. And we've actually had good workouts because of it. Oh yeah, and this and now we've been using like the blood flow and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, that uh, nitric oxide oxygen. booster. Mm -hmm. That thing like seriously helps yeah, with the no veins. Pump. Mm -hmm. We call it the no pump because <laughs> it's not technically pre-workout. Not pre-workout, but it's supposed to make you but pump up. It, and we call it no pump. It's because it's a blood flow promoter. 
but it's also like a pump promoter. It helps. It really helps. I like but it. Yeah, that's the no pump. It's the no pump. That's what we call it. And it's good. It is good. It yeah. Tastes like trash, but it's good. Yeah, it it and the texture is horrible. It makes your pre-workout all foamy, but we do it every time because it's worth it and we like it. I personally have went on a bulk. Austin, I don't. You. I just kept working out. Yeah. You, yeah I think he's kept his diet the same, but still seen results as far as like definition and yeah, slow, arms and slow results. Yeah. But you haven't really like changed your diet. If you change your diet like to go on a cut specifically, you you'd be golden. Yeah, but if I did. He's but, still seen results without even doing that. Just not committing. And I've been on a bulk for <clears throat> since the end of September, I wanna say. And I've seen awesome results because at the peak of my cut back in uh, July, the middle of July, I was 156 pounds. Yeah. And <laughs> shredded, like shredded the bone. I honestly, hey, I honestly didn't think your bulk was gonna like put on as much as you did. I, I'm i happy, I, I'm I almost guess, 180. It's impressive. Mm -hmm. Like I'm actually really happy. Like, and I, and I, my goal for this bulk wasn't to get like fat. My goal was to like, build as much muscle as possible with a little bit of fat and then no, just I, mean, I bet you gained seven pounds of muscle seven pounds of muscle in how many months like three and a half four probably seven pounds of muscle like ten pounds of water weight and fat that's probably yeah probably yeah. what happened and if that's true I'm happy with it because seven pounds of muscle is more than it sounds like oh yeah it you can Especially like when you're see two it. years in uh-huh yeah I'm almost three years three years in May in May, I'll be three years working out for those of you who asked me that question in the last video. Three years in May. So, about a little over two and a half right now. How long have you been working out? Like, consistently, like... Consistently, since like, I started with you. Because I had a, about a year break before that. So you're about two and a half. Too. I worked out like a year and a half with Matt, Heiser, Mike, Luke. How many years ago was that? That was in 20... 14. January 2014 is my first time ever working out in my life. And then you went hard, and then uh, then you bulked up, and then you start working out with me. Yeah. And we've been working out every day, like five days a week. I think the most we've taken off is like one week in the last two and a half years. So Austin and I, I would say, spent probably like 250 out of the 365 days of the year together. <laughs> probably. Honestly. <laughs> Isn't that crazy to think about? You know what else is crazy that what? they don't know? What? Oh, something crazy they don't know? Yeah, they don't know. I'm scared. What are you about to tell them? Well, 2014, how much did I weigh? Were, is that when you were like tiny? 128. You still weigh 128, 128 pounds. 128 pounds. In 20, and then 2014, I, then I no gained muscle. muscle to 155. No muscle. Now I'm here. Now you're here, like 198 or 200. 200. Like that. We'll call her 200 with about... 20 pounds of fat that I could cut. Yeah, you well, could. Well, I could probably cut. cut 30, but I would only want to cut 20. I, this summer, I'm about to go on a crazy cut. Do you have a favorite time of day to work out? Depends what mood I'm in. Because sometimes I'm in the mood to work out like 2 o'clock in the morning, and sometimes I'm in the mood to work out like as soon as I wake up. Yeah. It just really depends. It you change every day. I, it, yeah. Sometimes I have to make you wait till I get off. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you, sometimes you don't like it. I know sometimes because I'm ready to work out like two o'clock in the afternoon, and then Austin doesn't get off till six, and I'll be like just chilling until he can get off. Or sometimes I don't feel like working out until like, like I said, like one o'clock in the morning. That's great. We had to climb and get your frisbee. No, that was some random kid's frisbee. Remember? Oh yeah, yeah, that's right. How long we've we been recording? Ten fifty. I think we talked about enough. I think that's a good size video. That's good enough. Yeah. Okay. Well, guys, that's um, just kind of like Austin and I's quick tips on just random things that you can apply to your workout schedule. I know this video wasn't as long as it could have been, but that's part of the beauty of it. I know you guys, some of you don't have a lot of time uh, in your day, so that's totally fine. Um, thank you for watching. What is this? Day five? Day five of the daily vlogs, I think? Yeah. The fifth daily vlog. Thank you for watching. Oh, no. Two more days to go, guys. Uh, we've enjoyed it the whole way through, and uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.